So I farm in Eastern Iowa, and I know there's some folks that think that everything that I do works, everything that I do is perfect. I don't make any mistakes because I'm in Eastern Iowa and this is the land of milk and honey. But every year we probably make more mistakes than we do things right. Um, we try to learn from them, they're learning experiences. Um, one of them we've been fighting the last couple of years, this weed right here, water hemp. Um, if you got the book, When Weeds Talk, you can see what it likes and where it thrives. And that is exactly where it's at. Uh, this field, um, high nitrate, had a lot of hog manure on it the last couple of years. High nitrate, it likes high nitrate. Low calcium, this field's got low calcium. We did put calcium on it last fall, a product called BioCal. Um, we're gonna be doing, putting that on again this year as well. Um, likes a lot of bacteria, which you get that with manure. And uh, we've just been having issues killing it. Um, we've been mixing up our herbicide program. If you don't get it when it's less than four inches tall or two inches tall, you might as well forget it because spraying it's just gonna piss it off and make it come back worse. So um, we've been fighting this. It's something we're gonna keep working on. This field here, we're gonna put down the BioCal again. We're gonna put some dry humate on it. We're trying to get that soil structure, our organic matter's built up. This field only has an organic matter of like two to two and a half percent, so it's really not that high. Um, and we're considering taking a machine called a curse buster. It pokes holes in the ground just to get our soil to breathe better. Um, with that being said, another mistake that we've made that we've been fighting, and a lot of guys have been fighting this in Iowa. We really didn't have much of a problem with it this year until about a month and a half ago. The corn was pretty much made, it was matured, but uh, we started noticing uh, the black spots in the leaves. Uh, very common in Eastern Iowa, and actually the whole corn belt, tar spot. Um, tar spot likes low magnesium, low copper, low zinc. Um, this field did get manganese and zinc out the back, or no, uh, side dressed with the sprayer. We side dressed it, Y dropped it with our nitrogen and humic and our molasses and stuff. Um, but then we also came back later with the drone and we played, uh, played, applied a micronutrient that had copper sulfate, uh, zinc and manganese in it as well and a little bit of boron. Um, we're still, you know, we've sent away tissue tests and sap analysis. Um, it's still showing that we're low. Um, we've been using some zinc sulfate, manganese sulfate. We're gonna try some amino acid chelated products next year. Um, but it's just one of them, them products, one of them diseases that we have an issue with that we're just, we fight it. And you know, this year it wasn't too bad. It came in later season, really didn't cost us any money. As far as I'm concerned, it came in too late to really have any threshold. But it's definitely here, it's definitely persistent and uh, it's something that we can manage with nutrition without a doubt. It just needs to be a little bit better managed. So those are the problems we've been fighting here more than anything are those two things. Uh, along with compaction, we're still trying to fix our compaction in a no-till system, cover crops, doing a little bit of strip till. Um, but uh, yeah, just small things that just need, we need to take a step back and look at and figure out how we can, how we can fix the problem and how we can uh, move forward and be profitable with it.